nurturing groundbreaking science and technology. In just 12 years, Durham's Net Park has become the place to be for the innovators, who are pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity. Net Park's vision aims to take our region above and beyond, quite literally. In those early days, we had one building and lots and lots of grass. And now we're up to five buildings with two more being developed. And we're about to extend the size of the park from 12 hectares to 25 hectares. Some of the other things are just seeing the success of some of these businesses, which is great technology that is then being deployed and being adopted around the world. So Chromet PLC, who were one of the first tenants here and have grown with us as the park has grown, you know, they're now floated on the alternative investment market. They're doing major deals in the United States of America. Chromec now boasts a radiation detection chip on board the Curiosity rover all the way on Mars. And the park will remain at the forefront of the space program, now that the Northeast Satellite Application Centre of Excellence has won funding for the next three years. Three years ago, the Satellite Applications Catapult awarded us uh, this contract to help us um, help businesses, particularly small to medium businesses, better access the opportunities that space presents. And they've continued that funding with another three year program. And now the, the UK Space Agency has joined forces too. The bulk of the deal, uh, op deal flow opportunity is coming from uh, the use of data that's generated from space. And you can use that and those technologies to help improve life here on Earth, whether that's remote monitoring of uh, wildlife or wind farms for maintenance. And so it's how do we help businesses get into that? Because it's not an obvious area. While jobs may undoubtedly be created from the park's rapid expansion, Simon hopes that by 2025, the site will be known more for inventing and realising the biggest leaps forward. Innovation has to be part, you have to always be looking to the future and growing forward. And the community of companies that we're facilitating here at NetPark really helps to nurture those companies. So the ideal in 2025 would be to see businesses that are now in the incubator stood beneath me are now actually moving on into the bigger spaces outside of the incubator. We would like to think there is another two, three thousand jobs here at Net Park. It's not about jobs necessarily, it is about the technologies and the businesses growing and the sustainability of the place and a big community making a real impact to people's lives across the Northeast and the rest of the world.